What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a big package delivered to me from a website called ASOS. They're a uh, clothing company. They're based out of UK, I think. I've mentioned them on my channel before. They're one of my favorite places to shop at. Really high quality stuff for like a really, really cheap price. Free uh, delivery, free returns. If you don't like anything, just got dropped off at my house. It's a big ass order. I don't even remember what I got. A few pairs of jeans, probably some shirt, pair of shoes. I'm gonna unbox everything and kind of show you what I got and hopefully a couple things fit. My sister's gonna kill me because I stole the mirror from her room. Actually, she's probably happier that I'm not in her room. I ordered like two or three jeans, but a few of them are the same exact jeans. I just wanted to try uh, different sizes because they do free return. So if you're buying off their website, you could buy like a, a small, medium, large, like a 3230, a 3131 or something like that when it comes to jeans. And then you can try them on and just send back whichever ones don't fit. They come with a prepaid label. <laughs> So I got two pairs of Jack and Jones slim fit jeans. Okay, word, I might've got a denim jacket, a light blue pair of jeans in two different sizes, and then a gray pair of jeans, and then I got some nice chuckas, some boots, just to kind of go with the jeans. Not like a dressy look, but they're also not, you know, like gym shoes or. All right, so the first pair we tried on was these Jack and Jim. Jack and Jim? Jack and Jones, my bad, Jack and Jones. 30 in the waist, 32, or 32 in the waist, 30 length, and they're slim fit, so, you know, they taper down as as the legs go down so they're a little skinnier by the bottom but that's kind of the style nowadays you don't want bagginess down there so i actually kind of like these let's see how they fit with shoes on always try them out with the ultra boosts first and they're like a stretch fit they're not like spandex material but they have a little bit of that material in them so if you have like a bigger waist they'll stretch around it so these actually fit pretty well i like how these fit actually i'll try the shoes on too here these are only a size 10. these are not gonna fit my foot i don't think yeah, they're tight. You know what it is? Because this company is based out of UK, so the shoe sizes, when you order them on the website, they only give you the UK translated, and they only had UK like 8, 9, 10, 11. When you translate into US, it doesn't hit all the half sizes, so I can't really wear these. I'm gonna have to return those. Probably half a size bigger would have been good, but it's a good style for a look if you're looking for, if you have a dark pair of jeans with these kind of chucka boots. I have a few pairs of Clarks that are kind of the same style. When you're trying on jeans, one, I, I don't really recommend buying them offline unless you're buying them from somewhere that has free returns, but if you're trying them on store, like if you're going to the store and you know you're trying jeans on, wear shoes that you would most likely be wearing with those jeans. You go try jeans on with like a pair of Nikes or something and they'll look shitty, but you know, had you been wearing like a pair of boots or, or a pair of Vans or something, they'd look a lot better or vice versa. So I would just make sure that like whatever shoes you're probably gonna be wearing with those pants, those are the ones you try them on with because they fit very differently depending on what kind of shoes you put on. Right, I think these are the same ones and just a half uh, size bigger around the waist. These are a different fit, but I kind of like them. They're, they're pretty skinny around like the thigh and the and the ankle area. I don't know, they got that stretch, stretch material too, so it's not like super skinny. Like they'll stretch out a little bit when you're moving around and whatnot, but they do have like a, I don't know, they got a skinny feel, so I don't think they're the same style as the other ones. And we got like a, it's almost like a bomber jacket. So it's kind of cool, I guess, I thought on the website it had like a collar or something. What would go good with this is just a, a hoodie underneath. <laughs> The hoodie bomber or the hoodie uh, denim jacket looks real good for the fall and winter. Yeah, so this is a dope look right here. Black denim, it's like slim fit, so it's tight around the arms. Throw a hoodie underneath and you are set to go for fall or winter or whatever. So I dig this. Let me see the bike. Hit it from the bike. Cool. Totally forgot I ordered a jacket, that's kind of dope. So I don't even need to try the large on because the medium fits good. Next we got two pairs of like the regular blue denim jeans. I think they are, these are just the ASOS, like the regular brand themselves, their jeans. Where you at dog? 32-32 and uh, 31-30. We'll try the 32-32s on first. It's the same thing. They're very breathable. They got like a stretch kind of to them. So they're good around the thigh area and then they get real skinny around the ankles. Let's 
So I like these. These are a 3232, those are a 3130, and these fit good, so I'm not even gonna try those on. They're gonna be way too tight. These are kind of tight around my thighs, to be honest, but whatever. And lastly, we have a pair of gray jeans. These are from brand called Selected Home. I don't know. Selected Home. What's up, homies? Homies and homettes right there. They're a size 32, 32, slim fit. These actually fit pretty well. A good fit around the ankle. I don't know if you guys can see that really, but a good fit around the ankle. They get tight around the calf. They even make my calves pop, which is almost impossible to do for a pair of jeans, but um, you can roll them up, roll them down. I like when the when you roll them up and they have different color. And these ones are gray and they got the black roll up, so kind of dig these. Let's see what they look like with some kickers on. Definitely a fan of these. I'm a fan of these jeans. Definitely gonna keep these bad boys. They fit well with the shoes on. Let me try them with a pair of boots. They look good with the boots on. So, that's the haul. I have the denim jacket in black, two slim fit black jeans, the light blue jeans, the gray jeans. Yeah, I would definitely suggest checking out ASOS, especially for winter gear. They have really like inexpensive, high quality bomber jackets. If you're like a minimal style like me, plain sweatshirt, t-shirts, hoodies, that kind of stuff. It's all on there. You could always find a promo code for them too. I just, I think my total order came out to about 350 bucks and they had a coupon for, if you spend over 300, you get a hundred dollars off. So I really got like 35% off and then I'm returning half of this. So I really only spent like 120 bucks on three pairs of jeans and a denim jacket, which is very good. So if you got any questions about ASOS, drop a comment down below. How we doing, YouTube? How you doing? How you doing? It's August 12th, Saturday morning, about 11 a.m. Last week's vlog is about to drop. Just finished editing up a bunch of stuff for fans. Yesterday was a crazy day in the NFL. Suspensions, trades, all that nonsense. So I had my head in the computer all, all day, night, writing and doing videos. I did a collab with another YouTube channel last night. Went over like Skype video or Skype chat or whatever for for like two hours another youtube channel that has like six thousand subscribers or whatever so trying to broaden the audience a little bit so that's uploading right now i'm gonna go to the gym in a little bit i had a client reach out to me I actually had two possible clients reach out to me from for the marketing business one was i don't remember if you this was like weeks back this might have been like episode 10 or something i was on a skype video with a company that does just like women's clothing at the time we talked for like an hour it went really well and i thought we were going to kind of get on board and do a campaign but for some reason they had it in this in their head that they wanted to do Twitter marketing. They wanted to advertise through Twitter. I don't do Twitter. I did Twitter. I have experience doing Twitter marketing, but that's not what I do now for my business because I don't, I think it's a waste of money for companies. They wanted to do Twitter, I guess, because they had another company in their mind that they saw be successful on Twitter. So they're like, oh, we want to do exactly what they're doing. Okay, listen, um, we're moving away from Twitter. We want to get onto Facebook and Instagram. We're going to need your help. So I'm going to get on a Skype call with, I guess, the owner of the company at some point today, probably after I go to the gym. And then I, I talked to another one via the website I've probably mentioned on here before called Upwork. It's like a freelance website. So if anyone's looking for freelance work, whether you want to do writing, website editing, video editing, anything like that you're trying to get into and just get something on your portfolio, Upwork.com is really good for freelancing. So I, I talked to another company through there that does like a jewelry e-commerce site and I'm really liking the e-commerce stuff. So I'm going to try to stick with that as my like niche, niche kind of stuff. Later tonight, I have my little cousin's grad party. She graduated from University of Delaware earlier this year and now she's having her grad party. Actually, not even like a grad party anymore. It's supposed to be like our whole family, but our family's not around. So she's basically just throwing like a kegger at her house and me and some of my friends are going. We're gonna teach these young guns the rules. And I'm kind of excited because one, I don't really know most of her friends. So it's gonna be fun to meet new people. When you get older, like 24, 25, 26, you never really go to good house parties anymore. Like when I was younger, you know, high school, getting into college, house parties are like my favorite thing ever. Like I would have picked a house party over a bar in a second. Now you're older and you basically only go out to bars. So it's gonna be fun. Probably a lot of beer games. I'm telling you, guys, I went on some epic, I went on a two night run with one of my partners. We had like, it was like a weekend where someone threw a party and someone else threw a party. Over the two night span, we went like 29 and 0. Like we ran the table the entire first night until the night was over, until the party ended. And then we picked back up the next day 
and we kept it going. It was like 29 and 0. I've had like four runs like that throughout my throughout my Pong career. So yeah, I'm literally bragging on YouTube about how good I am at beer games. I'm, what a fucking loser I am. Um, but I suck now. So I have like four different pre-workouts. And what I do, because I don't want to take too much caffeine, I feel like a lot of pre-workouts give you different edges when you're in the gym. Like some of them give you focus, some of them give you energy, some of them give you the pump. So I'm gonna give you that itchy face feeling. So I'm like, I want it all. So what I do is I'll take like a fourth of this, a fourth, 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 always five grams of creatine every day, cutting, bulking, I don't give a budge. And I'll mix all these together in one water. This is a ridiculous water bottle, by the way. So it'll equal out to a scoop because you're taking like a fourth of four different pre-workouts but you're getting the side effects basically, and I guess I shouldn't be even saying that as a positive thing considering the side effects of pre-workout, but you get a really good energy and focus when you're in the gym. So that's kind of what I do. It's actually two days later, it's Monday now. Skipped all Sunday, I apologize, but I'm about to get on this call. The client I was talking about, we had to push back the call, and so now we're doing it. Let me get pen and paper. Not really sure what she, exactly what she wants to get into, but. Here goes nothing. Hi, Maria. It's been a while since our last conversation. Now we're trying to open an Instagram channel just with just completely optimized. We're just 2,000 people that are basically face fake followers. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't waste any, any money or time on that. Uh... For people that are subscribed to our newsletters. Okay. So that's something we're looking for and we definitely need, need your help with. Okay, so you can deactivate that. You see on the bottom, on the last option, or to the left a little bit, it's like a blue let. Yeah, so you could deactivate that account. I know a lot of you guys happen to enjoy our uh, fantasy football league meeting so i'm just gonna keep taping everything that we do with our league we're gonna do something that if you're an o o o o g of the channel you've seen us do this before probably two or three years ago kind of like the draft lottery so i gotta get some supplies before we head over to i'm heading over to nick's house and george is gonna be there with us gotta get pong balls and uh, a couple other things so number five the big dog himself. Ooh, okay. Number five. We got the number five pick overall. I like that. There's a big five. There's one tier, big five. I'm in it. It's Monday night, about 8.30 p.m. I got to wake up at 5.30 to go to the airport. I haven't even started packing. I just threw some clothes in the laundry, so it's going to be a late night. We don't typically get a lot of sleep over here at the big dog's headquarters. Something I've sacrificed the last couple months. Sleep's not that important, as long as you have monsters. Do I pack a suitcase? Do I just pack a duffel bag and a backpack? I'm gone for seven days. Going to San Fran where it's chilly. It's like 55 to 60 in the mornings and the nights. Then I'll be in San Diego where it's, you don't even have to look at the weather. I just I already know it's gonna be 75 and sunny every day, all day. So I need to bring clothes that are warm, clothes that are chilly weather. I'll probably be at the beach, so I need some bathing suits. Definitely gonna be going out probably Friday, Saturday. I don't know, maybe Sunday night. So I'm gonna need a lot of going out clothes, which means jeans. So I'm gonna need like everything. Jeans, shorts, t-shirts, underwear. Your sock game ain't strong. I don't even know what you're doing. here in San Fran, set up in my aunt and uncle's house. They literally live in like a jungle. Beautiful home though. I got in yesterday, took it easy. We went out to dinner, give you a little tour, show you my psychotic uncle. Goat free. Beautiful out here. This is also part of their house. Gotta drive up a hill for like 30 minutes to get to this place.
about 11 a.m. I was just doing a little bit of work on the computer before. Best part about what I do for work, you take it wherever you want. I can do work here, do work in China, in Emerson. That's why I did it. We're going over to their daughter's house. I'm gonna swim. I don't know where Godfrey is. There's my psychotic uncle. Taking a selfie. On the interweb. That's good dance moves. That's where I learned my moves from right don't there. Don't tell them I'm almost 75. Tell them I'm almost 85. They go, oh, that's 